Hi, and welcome to Production Bytes with your host today, Digest. This tutorial, and many of my future tutorials, will be on sound design using Native Instruments' popular plugin, Massive. I'll be going through some popular sounds used by famous artists from various genres such as drum and bass, dubstep, and house. All of these tutorials will be about making the basis of the sound, just using Massive and the effects within the plugin. You can then go further yourselves and add more external effects from within your DAWs. So let's get started. First things first, let's take a quick listen to the sound we'll be making, which is a Skrillex style sound that's very popular within dubstep today. However, this sound does not involve modern talking and like most tutorials already on YouTube. Here is a clip with a basic drum loop to give you an idea of what it will sound like. And here's a clip without the drums. So let's open it massive and start to create our sound. And we need to go file new sound, which will hopefully bring up this blank patch that we'll be using. And you need to click on the voicing tab, which is here above the envelopes. And we're going to be changing the unison. Now unison is the number of sounds that are played at once for every time you press one note down and it's a way of stacking up sounds of the same sound but stacked up and you'll be able to hear this difference when I show you later after we've created the patch and I'll lower the unison and higher the unison for you to be able to see what it does properly however for now we're going to set this to 7 so now that our patch is ready and we set the unison, we need to be looking at our three oscillators and they're all set on by the blue lights being on. Then we need to look at our waveforms. So for this one, oscillator one, we're going to be using grown one. And for two and three, we're going to be using the carbon waveforms. Then we need to set our wavetable position, and density, and the amp. So if you just copy my settings. And we need to pitch all of these down by two octaves. Uh, one octave is 12, so 2 is 24. And that's just the three oscillators set up, and it should sound something like so. We now need to look at the modulation oscillator and turn it on and we're going to be using it in phase mode on oscillator 3. So we need to turn up our phase, like so, and we're going to be pitching this down by one octave, so 12, and it should sound something like this. And if you notice it's already starting to clip on the master, so it's always good to turn it down and make sure none of your sounds are clipping within Massive, otherwise you've got digital distortion. So now that we've got our oscillators and the modulation oscillator sorted, they both come into the filter. So we need to turn on filter 1, and for this patch we're going to be using the scream filter. And we've got our cutoff, scream and resonance. And for our cutoff we run it all the way so all the sounds coming into the filter it's not cutting anything off and we're going to be turning the scream to one o'clock and the resonance to 11. 
um, that's basically our filter set and if you play that just adds a bit more to the sound from there we need to look at uh, effects and we've got two effects channels here so if we turn them both on and we choose the dimension expander and the dimension expander just makes your sound expand literally like it says uh, and you get to choose how much of the signal gets expanded so the drier the signal the less the, of the signal gets expanded and the wetter the more it gets expanded and you can set the size of the expansion so for this we need it at the following settings and then we move on to effects 2 which we're going to be using a phaser and again we have our dry wet the rate of the phaser the feedback of the phaser and the depth of the phaser and we'll be using it at these settings like so so now with our effects on we should have something that sounds like this and I'm just going to bring down that master again because it's the more stuff you put on the more the volume increases so the amps we've all turned up and we've put more effects and it's just adding more sound so it's always good practice to keep checking that master so that's perfect we now need to look at the LFOs which are found here and we went to sync to the BPM of our DAW which at the moment mines at 140 and we need to change the ratio of what the LFO moves at so for this one we need to be 3 over 4 with the X fade curve all the way up and the curve we went to use is this one that slopes down and then we need to set the second LFO and we're going to sync it again and we're going to go for a ratio of 3 over 12 X fade all the way up and the same curve again so now we need to place the LFOs so if you click here and drag over we're going to be placing them on the wavetable position in the left hand box and to alter this you just drag it up or drag it down and the more you have it the more it automates the wavetable and the less the less it will automate it so we're going to have it on the following and then LFA6 on the first one like so and it's going to only be moving at little amounts but it just adds movement to the sound and it should sound something like this and that's our basic patch done and you could add more effects within your DAW or you could bounce out and resample and basically the possibilities are endless as I said earlier I'd show you the, what the unison does so this is the sound with the unison set at 7 and then if we go back down to 1 and play it again you can see there's a lot less harmonic content to the sound so um, if you could check out our Facebook group and the link will be below this video and like us on there and comment anything that you may want to know in the future any topics that we could cover in our videos or if it's been useful and you've used one of our sounds in one of your songs or something it'd be really cool to get some feedback and please if you found this useful like and subscribe to us thank you for watching i've been digest and this has been production bites <laughs>